not just a tree is glorious or a bird is glorious, but the individual elements of creation are glorious. Shape is glorious. Color is glorious. Texture is, is glorious. Light is glorious. Well, a lot of you won't know this. I'm a painter by avocation. If I won't, weren't doing this ministry thing that God has called me to, that's probably what I'd be doing. I don't even think as a hobby, I think it, it is an expression of the gifts that God has given me that I need to be a good steward of. Uh, I, I paint large, abstract, metallic paintings. When I get done with a painting, it looks like a beaten up, weathered metal s surface. There are no objects in my painting. I'm not painting a tree or a horse. Uh, it's non-objective painting. And there are people who think that the rise of abstract painting is a denial of creation and only is the result of the philosophy of secular humanism. Let me tell you how I think about that. I think the glory of God in creation is so deep that it's not just a tree is glorious or a bird is glorious, but the individual elements of creation are glorious. Shape is glorious. Color is glorious. Texture is, is glorious. Light is glorious. And so you can work with just the elements, juxtapose those in a way that creates interest and beauty and honor the glory of God in creation because those elements are, are glorious. Uh, there's, a, there's a dynamic that artists talk about and it's the dynamic of visual lethargy. Lethargy meaning laziness that if you've seen something over and over again, you quit looking, you quit seeing it. Uh, you know, you may, you may be driving by a beautiful tree for the first time on your way to work and you're just blown away by the beauty of that tree. Six weeks later, you don't even notice that it's there. And so one of the things that abstraction can do is yank you out of your lethargy because you're not seeing familiar things, force you to look at things in a different way, force you to notice just how amazing texture is or how amazing color is by itself, how amazing shape can be and interesting and how you see those things uniquely when the object is gone and you place those next to one another. I think when you do abstract painting, your heart gets on the canvas. And in that way, my paintings are a celebration of the glory of God in creation. Uh, I'm blown away by the chemistry of the interaction of various elements. I'm blown away by gradations of color. You pull off a piece of bark, it's not brown, it's 700 shades of brown. It's amazing. And I find myself, as I'm painting, remembering how that no one could have created these, these elements, but a God of glorious grandeur. And that God is my Father. And that makes painting such a wonderful thing for me.